Welcome everyone, you may be seated. On behalf of Stacy and Vikram, I would like to thank you all for being here today and for being a part of each other's lives and for being a part of the lives of Stacy and Vic. I have known Stacy for 13 years and I'm incredibly honored to stand before you both and all of you today. We are here to celebrate Stacy and Vikram's love and commitment to one another. They ask for your love, your encouragement and lifelong support of their marriage. We would also like to remember their loved ones who could not be here to share this day with them. Whenever we attend a wedding, we are given the opportunity to reflect on our own relationships and how the power of love has shaped our lives. We might look at the couple before us and be tempted to compare the quality of their love to our own relationships. And the truth is that every relationship is as unique as the individuals in it. But one thing rings true. For love to exist between two people, each person must allow for the vulner vulnerability in giving his or her love. And each must be open to receiving the other's love in return. Therefore, each of us is a powerful creator of love. Each of us, every moment of every day, has the choice to dedicate ourselves to one another. And for those of you that do not know, Stacy and I met <laughs> through a shared love of theater, performance, and of course, glitter. One of my favorite <laughs> passages about love and about marriage comes from none other than the bard himself, William Shakespeare, Sonnet 116. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when alteration it finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with the brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ nor no man ever loved. Stacy and Vic have prepared their own vows, which they will share with one another at this time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Vikram, I know I won't be able to fully express all the wonderful ways you make my dreams come true. You are loving. You are strong, you are fierce and loyal. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for making my dreams come true. I know we've talked about this a lot before, but I prayed for you. And I know God brought you into my life, and I'm so thankful every day. You make me laugh, and you love me as I am. And you've made it clear from the start that your goal is to make the best life you can for us and our families. You always say you will do whatever you can to make me happy <laughs> and to create a life of happiness. Um. Not many men say that and actually mean it. You are rare, intelligent, and wonderful. Vikram, you are an incredible, loving man, and I'm amazed by you all the time. And you get me. You get me more than anyone else. You understand me, and you know how to love me and make me feel special. I feel as if my life is a dream, and with you, we make our dreams a reality. You inspire me to be more and do more, and I can't wait to spend our lives together, making more magic and learning the depths of what it truly means to love each other. To spend a lifetime in love. I cannot think of a better way to spend my life than loving you and being a family. I promise you today and every day that I will spend my life loving you and making our dreams come true. You mean everything to me. 
I love you. Wow. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Stacy, the first time I met you, I was smitten by your beauty and your wonderful smile, which never seemed to leave your face. It didn't take long for me to see that you also had a heart of gold and a very loving and caring personality. In fact, I see it every day when you shower love on our little Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the day we went to the temple with my parents for the first time. I was very nervous because I know Indian culture and traditions can be very daunting. <laughs> but you accepted it with a lot of enthusiasm and enjoyed the experience. It was in that moment that I realized that I had found myself a wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the past year has been trying to say the least. Mm -hmm. With the tree falling through your condo to me <laughs> deciding to sell mine two months before the wed our wedding. Mm -hmm. But through it all, our love for each other has persisted and only grown stronger. I've come to realize how important you are to me, how you support me through thick and thin. I admire your courage, kindness, smartness, and strength. Finally, I promise to build a happy home with you, filled with joy and laughter. I vow to support and encourage you to achieve your goals. I promise to compensate with sushi dinners <laughs> when I vex you with my silliness. <laughs> and I promise to tell you I love you every morning I wake up next to you. I love you. <laughs> Do you, Stacy, take Vic to be your husband, to cherish and love and friendship today, tomorrow, and for as long as you both shall live? to trust and honor him, to love him faithfully through the best and the worst, whatever may come. And if you should ever doubt, to remember your love for each other and the reason why you came together with him this day. I do. <laughs> do you, Vic, take Stacy to be your wife, to cherish in love and friendship today, tomorrow and for as long as you both shall live. To trust and honor her, to love her faithfully through the best and the worst, whatever may come. And if you should ever doubt, to remember your love for each other and the reason why you came together with her this day. I do. <laughs> AJ, the things, please. <laughs> Stacy. Place this ring on Vic's finger and repeat after me. <laughs> With this ring, With this ring, I promise to love, respect, and honor you. I promise to love, respect, and honor you. <laughs> Let this ring be a symbol of our love. Let this ring be a symbol of our love. May it represent our today, our tomorrows. May it represent our today and our tomorrows. Our future and our past. Our future and our past. Mm -hmm. As I have given you my hands to hold. As I have given you my hands to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. <laughs> Vic, place this ring on Stacy's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I promise to love. I promise to love. Respect and honor you. Respect and honor you. Let this ring be a symbol of our love. Let this ring be a symbol of our love. May it represent our today, our tomorrows. May it represent our today, our tomorrow. Our future and our past. Our future and our past. As I have given you my hands to hold. As I have given you my hands to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. <laughs> And a final benediction for your life together. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for the other. Now there is no more loneliness. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. 
May your days together be good and long upon this earth. <laughs> it is now my honor and my delight to declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today.